Yeah, I mean, I mean, speaking of family and whatnot, before we dive into everything, like how how has it been for you to balance stuff? I think that's one of the most crucial things overall. Like, I mean, you're a father, you are now the CEO of Comics Wellspring. Um, you have your own businesses on the side as well. You are, you know, you have a military background. You have all this stuff that's been going around you. You're a creator yourself. Like, how do you just approach balance before we get into anything else today? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely, uh, it's it's a learning curve and it takes a lot of trial and error and and time and you're never you'll never get it on point uh until you know i i hear until you like your your kids are off in college and stuff and then you kind of finally uh create some consistency in your uh you know in your scheduling i think that's the number one thing i i always base it off of what i mean i've always been busy obviously like i right from the military it was you know it was it kind of wired me that way uh to work around the clock and like get up before everyone else stay up and work the hardest and so that was always embedded into me um and in the military that that kind of like really i think brought that out in me i was under a lot of pressure in uh in my positions i was always in executive uh uh administrative roles so always working for the big cheese uh which was always so much pressure so i feel like that gave me the grit and yeah uh, maybe the perseverance and and stuff like that uh, just to kind of uh, I guess the precursor to get me ready for a lot more that life was going to throw at me. Um, but then when I got out of the military, I guess that never stopped. Uh, I mean, I started going to college. College was way too slow for me. So I started a business and, and that kind of like turned into, you know, what's the next thing, G create another business, keep going, keep going, do more, figure it out. And uh, yeah, I, I, so I turned away from traditional education and just kind of, tread my own path and uh yeah uh but what but what really helped me is was like i just said i mean waking up at the crack of dawn getting some sort of routine in my life helps uh and just like any other creator just like going off into the clouds somewhere and not doing anything and just kind of like putting it on autopilot that helps me a ton uh so right now <laughs> For instance, I drive downstate to the the offices, and that's a three and a half, four hour drive for me. And I do that back and forth every week, uh, not every day, but like once a week. Um, and and those drives, I actually, my wife's like, it's it's got to be so hard in the travel. I'm like, yeah, uh, but at the same time, it's not because you're you're there three and a half hours. You you can't do much other than think and process stuff and and like. Uh, mull over uh, ideas and and refine things and and you know a lot lately now it's a lot of phone calls but majority of the time it's like listen to audiobooks any anything that's like enriching my, my mind my creativity so that that helps a lot but also waking up early uh, once upon a time like six months ago I was waking up to go to the gym at 4 a.m so that really helped obviously lately with the kids and stuff it's been really hard but I found like getting a routine of that getting up and uh, you know working out and and just taking care of myself for the first you know half hour that helps set the pace for the day and uh, yeah I mean that's kind of been my routine that kind of helped me structure my life uh, having a lot of good people around me like yourself and and Mel and a lot of people that are taking a lot of those responsibilities that I took on at the beginning of this when I first started working with Greco and Comics Well Spring. Uh, but now delegating, that's really helped again uh, structure some sort of some sort of like, I don't know, uh, I guess uh, I don't know, like some sort of consistency in my my mm. day to day. So I know I, I don't have to worry about the same things I did months and months ago. Rather, you know, I could just pour into other people and they're doing it, uh, you know, for for the team itself. So that that's kind of that's kind of where I've, you know, my, my journey in a nutshell yeah. uh, and kind of where where my scheduling and how I can process everything. It's definitely there's no clean cut answer to how I juggle stuff, but it's kind of just like well, a fight. You're just kind of rolling with the punches and doing what you can to set in systems. 
Yeah, it's, you know, kind of what you said right there in the beginning, you've kind of been in life training this whole time, you know, it seems like yeah. all these opportunities that you've had in your earlier life, you know, with the military and how it, you know, kind of became embedded with you. I don't think, you know, for people to handle like the big cheese in any company, in any corporation, that takes a lot of like patience, a lot of understanding, a lot of, you know, dividing who you are as a person to a certain extent. There's the business side and then there's like, you know, the friendly family side as well. And as much as we try to combine those two, you do have to be very concrete and distinct, you know, when you're trying to approach and build a business and build success and yeah. build a team, but also like maintaining, you know, leaving some of that at you know, at work and maintaining a family and balancing that and cherishing those moments with, you know, family just overall, you really yeah. can't take away from that. And I mean, no matter how crazy and hectic things are, it sounds like you even found a way to like still give yourself a, you know, a slice of Zen throughout all yeah. the chaos. Yeah, I think it just became a breaking point. I, I'll be totally honest. Uh, I was never like that. Like I've always prioritized like getting the job done working hard and like really uh, just constantly grinding as much as I can uh, to, to like to do the next thing. Uh, maybe it's an interpersonal thing, but it's always been something that, you know, uh, uh, that's, I've always been driven. I feel like that. And uh, lately since I've kind of turned, you know, we've, we've accomplished so much and even though we have still some mountains to climb uh, lately though, I have been finding that I'm better at what I do in execution decision making when I actually have that fine line between family and work and stuff like that, even though it's really hard to, to turn that off because I do love what we do and I do love the business and I love the content uh, around the business. It's hard to, as a creative, it's hard to turn those kind of things off. You get an idea when you're having dinner with your family or something like that. But as of late, uh, lately, I, yeah, I've definitely kind of, I think, poured a lot of time and effort into mental effort into like really creating that fine line. I think as my boys get older, they, you know, they really make it easier for me to do that. Uh, you know, and moving up where I live, like just really being appreciative of where, what I have and where I'm at. I think that helps too. Um, uh, uh, kind of give me perspective of, of creating that boundaries. Mm -hmm. Uh, but again, they, I think they benefit each other in the long run, you know, having that. So yeah, I mean, boundaries are so vital in every essence of like any part of life, any faucet of life, yeah. you really need to establish boundaries. And a lot of people feel bad or guilty when they establish a boundary because it's oh, really yeah. to protect them and themselves. And sometimes it might affect or hurt the person that they're creating the boundary from, because, you know, everyone functions differently. We all have a certain bandwidth. Sometimes some of us just need to take a step away and, you know, creating that boundary is really just to help you be more successful in the long run. Um, yeah, precisely. Yeah. And it, it's, it's all positivity. And, you know, more people start to understand that, I think, as they get older, I think, more, yeah, like when you're younger, it just doesn't make sense. You're like, just, yeah, a bit, put up with stuff. But yeah, for sure, that doesn't equate. I mean, it's like what you're saying, too. I mean, luckily, we're both in a really cool position. I mean, and it, it's not to like flaunt or anything, but it's one of the things where we kind of have our dream job. And, you know, we're working every day for this awesome, like, you know, the company and the purpose of Comics Wellspring and mm -hmm. the opportunities it's brought us. And so we get very encompassed in it and figuring out our own personal boundary between our work and our passion and how hard we kind of work to get to the position yeah. we're at. It's hard to create that line and be definitive about it and not be obsessed with everything 24 <laughs> seven. There's yeah. times where it's, you know, I mean, you were getting messages from me like at nine at night last night and emails. <laughs> and it's it's one of those things where it's yeah. like, well, I, I, I finally got to it. I had the bandwidth open up and I needed to attack this, you know, task. And it's because I passionately want to. And yeah. it's really difficult and rare for somebody to find that type of job. And it didn't make sense to me before. It wasn't until I started talking and like, you know, we have meetings with all of our contractors, meetings with the team. And the amount of care and passion that goes into what we're doing and what we do at Comics Well Spring, I've never felt before, ever, right. in any yeah. position. It's a yeah. dream. Yeah, it really is. Bring your comics, bring your comics with Comics Well Spring.